paddling for 45 minutes and catching a 20 second wave, you can hop off the back of the boat and you can ride a 10 minute wave. And endless wave that you don't even have to live near the ocean for. It's the newest addition to the world of water sports and it's certainly whipping up some big waves in the sea to sky. Yep. Wake surfing is using an inboard uh, speedboat to mimic an ocean wave. You're not attached to the board, so you're very free, like a surfboard. And essentially you can surf the wave just like you can in the ocean. So many people have boats now, and it's a low impact sport. So, like I said, everybody can do it. Whistler Wake's Aaron DeLucre has been riding waves like these for more than three years. But it's his job to teach people like me how to ride the perfect inland wave. There you go. Let's go, yeah, here we go, there you go. Perfect. The learning curve is actually pretty good. If you have one-on-one -on -one coaching, most people can get up and start riding and learn it in their first time, and then second, third time, they can actually get rid of the rope and just harness the power of the wave and surf it like a real ocean wave. So uh, it's, it's actually a fairly easy sport to learn. A lot easier for some than others, like Pemberton pro wakeboarder Ian Jackson. He's been hitting tricks like these for more than 16 years, but loves a wake surf to wind down. You kind of have to be on it to, to do the wakeboard stuff, whereas surfing it's super laid back, you can have fun, you can make it hard and you can try lots of different stuff, or you can just be laid back. Inland surfing is amazing! You're only doing 10 mile an hour, so when you fall you don't hurt. The only real difference with wake surfing would be that uh, it's more of a surfing technique than getting big air. They both have elements of easiness and a little bit of trickiness, but uh, the fact that you're going so slow, it doesn't intimidate people. And not just a popular sport amongst the guys. It seems to be, with wakeboarding and wake surfing, kind of uh, predominantly sort of uh, male dominated. So we thought, you know, we'd really push this year, trying to get a lot of kids and also getting a lot of females in, which has been a big success. And a bit of success for my first wake surf. But as for the tricks, I'll leave that to the pros. Making waves in Whistler, I'm Alana Ponsonby for The Express. Yeah, that's good, I'm done.